Okay guys, so welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up your Xbox on Series X. Uh, this is a full complete setup guide. So on your screen now you're going to see a picture. Uh, so go ahead and hit the power button and turn on your Xbox. So once your Xbox turns on, go ahead and turn on your controller as well. And while your controller is turning on, go ahead and hit the uh, the, uh, the button on your controller as well as the, the sync button on your Xbox One and uh, that should go ahead and get your control sync so once that is done both slides should be solid on your controller as well as xbox and now we should be uh coming up to this page okay guys so uh once your con controller gets connected if you're having any issues may you may just have to hold down the button on both ends to get them connected okay so the next step is go ahead and download the xbox app from your either your android uh store or ios store so i have an android phone so i'm just going to go to the store app uh and go ahead and go to just search and uh, go ahead and download the xbox app so at this point the app, app is installing and when the app installs go ahead and launch the app so once you launch the app as you guys can see i'm launching the app right now you're going to see an option uh, at the bottom up here app which says setup console so go ahead and click on that and once you see that uh, there is a 12 digit code on your console as i showed you earlier go ahead and pop that in here i would have that screen up here here just in a second but yeah if you have the i think the the other model it may be just the six digit but go ahead and put that code in as you guys can see uh, my xbox screen is now coming up so i put that code in and go ahead and click next and go ahead and click allow all time and now it's going to go ahead and connect to your console locally uh, over your phone so once your console uh, gets connected the process is very simple uh, go ahead and click next once and set up your uh, location uh, and services go ahead and select your wi-fi network and go ahead and here enter in your password so once you enter your password go ahead and hit join what it does at this time is to go ahead and send this password to your xbox and your xbox is now going to go ahead and connect to the internet so once this process is complete your xbox will be connected to internet at this point now it does take it does you know it may take a minute or two for it to get connected but so once you see your console is online you should be good go ahead and click next and your console at this point may uh, start updating so if you see that option go ahead and click next uh, in power saving mode you can pick any if you want uh, i just picked whatever i thought security again your preference um automatic updates i like to keep that enabled so all my games get updated uh, remote features if you want to install games and apps when you're remote like at uh, some other place then if you bought something that gets auto installed so as you guys can see now my xbox is already starting to update now that's going to take a while in the meantime i'm going to go in and it's going to ask me for my um, xbox uh, uh, gamer tag username and password so i logged into my microsoft account with my username and password and hit next this is going to pass again the credentials to the new xbox so whenever the xbox is going to be done updating it's going to push those all those credentials in your profile over to your new xbox once so as you guys can see it's updating so now i'm all logged in through the app and now it's, it's basically doing the update part so in this time um so it's going to ask you for some privacy question go ahead and walk through that um and basically now it's time to name your console you can name it you know whatever you want or pick from one of the suggestions i just selected you know home i don't have more than one console so i'm just going to go ahead and hit next or you can even skip this step if you want to but once you go ahead and um, get done it's going to ask you for some you know privacy information and uh, if you want to be in the beta program or not that's up to you uh, now is this is a very important xbox one so copy settings so if you want to copy settings from your own xbox then you can basically say yes uh, i have an xbox one that as you guys saw on that screen it's going to copy the settings from that if you don't want, just want to start fresh then you basically just click on that start fresh option so now uh, the phone part is done so i'm gonna go back to the xbox looks like it's it's almost done updating here as you guys can see but now what it's gonna do is go ahead and, and update the controller so updating the controller make sure that, again the controller is connected and uh, once it i think it's done checking these settings it's gonna go ahead and ask for you to go ahead and update your controller 
and able to complete uh, just be patient and you just have to be patient through this process so so this process is almost uh, done okay guys so at now we're done with the process uh, and uh, that's it for this video guys don't forget to like subscribe and share the videos also if this video have helped you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button also i'll be posting more videos about how to open NAT, clear cash and things like that so don't forget to like and subscribe have a fantastic day ahead bye, -bye.